Hi, in this video, you will learn my best trick on how to change the color of your line work to best match your paintings. Hi guys, before starting, I just want to say that this is a free sample from the more in-depth tutorial called Making Your First Marks that is part of the Digital Painting Academy. And if you are interested to know the whole module, how it is and what it is, you can click in the link below in the description uh, to join the Academy. And for now, let's continue with this tutorial. All right. In this video, I want to show you how you can modify the color of your line work so they best fit the colors that you're using when you're painting. So right now I have this illustration, the beginning of an illustration, and I have line work on top of it, and the lines are gray. Now, as a gray line, you can see that on this, um, this umbrella, uh, the lines are kind of looking weird. And the reason is because they're more pale than the actual color. So what I would have to do is I would like to modify the lines just for this uh, this part here. So what I'm going to do is on my line, uh, my layer of my line, I'm going to select it and I'm going to click on the lock pixels. The lock pixels basically uh, fix the colors or the painting only towards what's on the layer. So it's like having a selection, basically. If I were to, let's say, uh, select what's on my layer by doing command and clicking on this window, you know, it would select this. But this kind of looks messy. The lines are really hard to read because there's all those selection everywhere. So what I can do is clicking on the lock pixel right here. And it's going to do basically the same thing. I'll give you an example. I'm going to take a color here. I'm going to start painting. And the only thing it's going to do is to paint on whatever it's on this layer. And in this case, it's the lines. So what I can do here is now I can take a color and I'm going to take a dark. I'm going to do the L recipe here to find a dark color for the lines. I might even change a little bit the hue here and just being able to just paint on this section of the lines. I'll do the same thing for the, the glass here. I'm going to go with something like this. Might just modify a little bit the lines and I'm going to do the lines of this glass. I might take maybe the same color for the ice cubes right here and uh, for the, the glass here. And I'll do something for the straw, which will be something more like reddish. So this way, you'll be able to uh, design the line or the colors of the lines that you're doing based on the color that you want to paint each element. And this is looking much better than if I had that gray line at the beginning. So it's a simple trick, but I wanted to give it to you because it's going to be very, very powerful when you want to start an illustration with outline like this one. And that's it for this video, guys. If you want to know more about this new module called Making Your First Mark, part of the Academy, you can click in the link in the description. If you don't want to miss any of my other tutorial on YouTube, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to learn more about digital painting, make sure to click the next video and I'll see you in the next episode.